Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So as you can see here, we have kind of an issue where we had a bleeder valve or a bleeder port actually break out of this uh, 90 degree fitting. And uh, this is not an easy situation. Typically, uh, basically because you can't get a hold of anything to turn that fitting out. Uh, so there's a special tool that they make just for this purpose. Uh, we kind of just generally refer to it as an easy out, uh, but also can be called like a screw extractor or something like that. I will put a bunch of different pictures up here of the different types that you can get. Uh, I'll put up the one that we used first, uh, and then I'll be sure to link down in the description to where you can get these sorts of tools. So the first step that we are working on here right now is to drill out because there was a pretty small hole going down in here and you need to have a big enough opening to be able to get this screw extractor to start and be able to grip into the material that you're trying to remove now you don't want to drill that hole out too big or you won't have enough material there to get the extractor started effectively so you can start you know, not super small, but just kind of use common sense and leave a little bit of material for your tool to be able to grip into. Obviously, you want to have as big of an extractor as possible because you don't want to risk actually breaking the extractor off in the hmm, hole either. Annoying. So, and this can work for so bolts too. So, if you have a bolt, uh, you would just drill a hole into the bolt that itself. Happens. Um, using the same concept, you know, what we had here was pretty easy because it was brass and so we were able to uh, just get that to go in pretty easily. So once you get your hole drilled, you are ready and you can take your extractor and get it set in place and you'll see that the threads or the spiral that's kind of cut into that extractor are going the opposite, so they're like left hand. Uh, and that's what allows you to be able to crank that uh, piece of threaded material out. So in this case, I'm using a crescent wrench. It was a little bit bigger than I wanted, but it was the one that I had with me. And we were able to just put some gentle pressure downward on it and slowly begin to turn it out. And in this case, we were fortunate. Everything turned out really nicely. Obviously, penetrating oil would be your best friend. It also helps that we had two metals that were that are not prone to fusing together. So we have a brass piece of metal that we're threading out of the steel. So we had that that was going for us as well. So yeah, these tools are extremely useful. Again, I'll link to them down in the description below. And yeah, this gives you a good idea of kind of what they can do and what the process looks like. I have to admit this uh, makes it look like it's a little bit easier than it actually is. Usually you're working with a steel bolt or something that's broken off in something and you're going to need to use a combination of heat and penetrating oil and uh, just be, you know, work it. Uh, but in this case it was fairly easy because it was the brass, like I said, going into that black iron 90. So woohoo, there we got it out. We're ready to put our new bleeder in place. And just for fun, we'll put the new bleeder in here. So I think what actually happened in this case is uh, when this was tapped out originally, uh, the tapping tool was threaded in too deep because I'm pretty much able to seat this fully uh, before there is much resistance on those threads. And the way these fittings are supposed to work is they're tapered. Uh, I can't remember what the ratio is, but basically... Uh, as the further you tighten it in, the tighter the threads get because of the tapered threads. And that's a lot of what does the work of sealing the fitting. And so what happened here is I think that previously they had over tightened it and it's fully seated already. There's no more room for the threads to tighten more. And by doing that, they put a lot of strain on that point right between where the threads connect to the rest of the body of that uh, of that bleeder valve assembly so I'm guessing that's probably what happened but anyway that's neither here nor there the goal is to be able to remove threads when they're broken off in something and that is what we succeeded in doing and then we got the water turned back on and 
made sure that there was no more air in this particular radiator and we were able to restore heat to the system so that was our ultimate goal we'll talk to you guys in the next video <laughs> see ya